It's done. Feel it. In your bones. Feel it in any bone. What is up? I'm Yuri from Hex19.com, and today we are playing Would You Rather, a game of wits. So uh, we have some special rules to this game. Basically, it's a test to see how well we know our fellow co-hosts. So uh, one person, starting with Brett over here, will ask a Would You Rather question to the uh, the answer in of the, the question. In the hot seat. In the hot seat. I'm in the hot seat right, yeah, now. That's you this, right now. This right here is the hot seat. Uh, that seat is so hot right now. Look at so, it. So I will determine my answer to the question, write it down on this slip of paper, which is kept hidden, and then Glenn and Aaron over here need to guess what I have picked. And uh, the person who knows their fellow hosts best will win and be the ultimate champion. It's going to be me right now, I'm going to tell you that. No. I seriously doubt it. Alright, so are you guys ready for question number one? Yeah, I think I'm so. Miss, miss, Alright, this, so this is for Mr. Yuri. Okay, so, assuming you had the needed training and skills required for any of this, okay. would you rather, A, be a host of any podcast on the Twit Network of your choosing, or B, be on any MLG Halo team of your choosing? And you're off. So Aaron and I have to discuss this? No. No. Yuri's going to pick an answer, and then we're both going to pick our answers. Well, right? we, we can all be picking answers right now. Yeah. But then you and me and Glenn, we're going to reveal our answers first. And I'm going to be like, Glenn, what the hell? Why did you choose that? You're stupid. And you're going to yell at me back and stuff like that. And then oh, Yuri okay. will reveal his answer and say, no, you're both stupid. Or at least even justify yeah, like, why like, you man. picked it. Yeah. yeah. Justify. Okay, so A was podcast host and B was gamer. Essentially, which profession would you have? Would you rather podcast? Or would would or... Yuri have? Yeah, I don't know question. what's on the, what's on the Twit Network. Network. A Twit Network is... This Week in Tech, Tech News Today... It's the one year he's been listening to the most. Oh, okay. I didn't want to say any podcast, because he'd also obviously just pick Hex19. <laughs> it obviously. is pretty much the greatest. Yeah. Hex19's pretty good. Okay, I'm locked in. I got this. I'm also locked in. Let's start with Aaron. B, the gamer. Because... Yuri plays Halo religiously. Every week when we come and say, oh, what have you done this week, Yuri? It's Halo Reach basically all the time. And he talks about all his cool strategies and informs us. So I think that would give Yuri so much joy to be a gamer. I went with A, the podcast that's a, host. That's a very small A. It, it, it's big enough. <laughs> like, Do you, you want to this, hold this closer? You had no? a really big index card to write that on. <laughs> and you like, chose to make it like one line big. Well, I'd, don't really understand, it would have but... looked messy had it been bigger. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, Yuri also listens to podcasts like five a day. But he's already hosting way a podcast. Way more than five a day. Yeah, way more than five a day. And he does it so often that he doesn't need to tell us weekly like he does with Reach. It's just a given. At mm. any moment, he's always listening to a podcast. How much money does like a podcast make, though? Like, that doesn't things. matter. It's not about the money. Yuri's not it's not about the money, which is why I picked a Fuck. podcast. <laughs> I didn't choose Gamer because of money, though. Yeah, I don't I know. I like, would enjoy playing Halo more than... Halo would be really cool, but it's like... It's like, once you're good at that, it's like... You can't really go any further. You you're can already like, play Halo. But, like, you can be the best at Halo, and it's, like, not a huge deal. It's but more podcasts, about... you have so much room It's, to it's more about you can make money just playing Halo. Like, your job is Halo. That, that would be pretty awesome, but, like... Being a host of a podcast that people actually listen to... That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's question number one. Okay, who's up awesome. next? Okay, so, Glenn, here's the question for you. Of these two unfavorable circumstances, oh God. which would you prefer more? Mm -hmm. Having to watch two hours of South Park or play two hours of Dragon Age 2? Which one mm. would be not as bad as the Hasn't... other? Hmm. Okay, everyone's locked in. Brett, yeah. let's see what you chose. Okay, I chose B. I think Glenn would rather play Dragon Age 2. Because I think, if anything, he's already done that. So I think maybe he could, like, go into it knowing, like, knowing what to expect. He's like, oh, I just have to get through this next two hours. And that, but I think, I don't know. Depending on how much South Park he's watched. You know, it seems like he does not like South Park. Or it would just be, like, too, too unbearable. Where I think Dragon Age 2 just might be a bit too mediocre. I went with B. Dragon Age as well. Alright, nice. Uh, so basically, Glenn hates Dragon Age 2, but he still finished it. That, yeah, it's that's still what I was a very long game. Too. It's like, how many hours? Like, 
I guess the, I guess the question is, that, does he want to do that again at all? Just for two hours. I don't think he's watched two hours of South Park. Okay. Or if he has, he's been, like, miserable through it. Right. Okay, and Glenn, what did you say? B. Yes! Oh. <laughs> and yes, I was miserable. It was horrible. <laughs> I don't hate Dragon Age 2 that much. Really? I don't think it's a good game. Mm. But I don't think it's horrible, which is my opinion of South Park. So you're, they were kind of get, equal for gonna, exactly. Aaron set you up for some hate. Aaron set you up for some <laughs> definite hate. Bam! Whoa. Okay, Aaron, you are in the hot seat. But I am. Which gonna... means I get to ask the questions here. So, big news. Bioware is finally making a Mass Effect movie. Finally. <sighs> yeah. They have narrowed it down to two actors to play the role of Commander Shepard. Ooh. Both equally mediocre and kind of terrible. <laughs> Please, we'll be kind of Reeves. Would you rather have A, Channing Tatum, or B, Sam Worthington? Who's Sam Worthington? Yeah, who's Sam? I need a Avatar. face. Avatar. Okay. Or who's Channing things. whatever? Uh, G.I. Joe. I haven't seen G.I. Joe. What else is he in? 21 Jump Street. Have you seen any trailers for that? Yes. He's, he's, he's the guy he's who is the, the short family. Yeah, he's the yeah. one who's not Jonah Hill. Okay, so A is Channing Tatum, B is the Avatar guy. Yes. Okay. I, yeah. Sam Worthington. Bruce. So Brett. Brett. What do you I, think for me, this is to... this is obvious. I chose B, Sam Worthington. Av- like Avatar, solid in that role. role. Mass Effect would, I think, ideally be on the exact same scale, exact same budget, going to planets. Sure, he might be a bit underwhelming, but I think I think his mediocrity, for Aaron at least, I would say, like I think this is pretty widespread. His mediocrity is not as much as just like Channing Tatum has been in, I think, bad movies. So. That's the way I judged it, and I think Aaron recognizes that. I also went with B, because Sam... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that will never know. That <laughs> will never know. Whole thing's crap, just stop. <laughs> yeah. Sam Worthington has experience in science fiction. Yeah. So that's good. What does Jenny Tatum have? Dance moves? Nothing. E. E. I yeah, chose really B. Dance. Yeah. Dance. I rewatched um, G.I. Joe not long ago, because it was on, like, have you guys seen... That movie? Yes, in theaters. Uh, I was it was like, awesome. I knew, so good. I knew it was, it was so terrible, fun. just rewatching it. It was like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> but what did they accelerate? What What <laughs> made you pick Channing Tatum or... They're both kind of baldish. They look like the default shepherd a little bit. Kind of. Okay, I guess like, not baldish, but like short hair. Yeah. Yeah. I would have rather you picked just like, like wonderfully <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. That's maybe next time. It's, it's even a bit straightforward. Nick maybe Cage, next time. Okay. okay. That would have been hard. Yeah. Keanu Reeves or Nicolas Cage? As yeah. Shepard? Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. But How do you choose that? As Femme Chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Nick Cage, obviously. You can see them in the wig so easily. Oh. Would you rather constantly lose at Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> oh. Like the board game? Yes. Okay. No, or the, the real thing. constantly lose at Dominant Species? <laughs> uh, so, are you saying that I have to play through the entire game, and no matter what I do, I lose, and I yes. don't know why? And you, and have you to just keep repeat playing. it for 48 hours. Like, when you win- finish so a game, I'm just you stuck. start over again. Okay, so I guess it's ultimately which one is worse to lose after that much time. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, both, you would want to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun. Okay. I think I think it's... Hmm. Alright, I'm excited. Like, these aren't just are you uncomfortable. Excited? These are, like... It was awful. This is a that was a good question. I that was tough. <laughs> okay. Aaron, I'm revealing first. Yes, I chose A, a. Battlestar Ooh. Galactica because Dominant Species. I think like Battlestar is a pretty involved game. There's a lot going on in that, but in Dominant Species, it is so much more. There's so much strategy and planning and stuff that gets screwed up so hard for you in that game that I think it'd be such like it'd be so much more frustrating and disappointing to lose at that than to lose a Battlestar. So I I'll, I went with A Battlestar. Uh, Dominant Species, like, sometimes when I win that game, I'm just pissed off at it. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I should have asked if you would rather lose at Battlestar or win at Dominant Species. That would be tough. Like, Battlestar Galactica, you get the music going, and you get some So Say We All chants going, and it doesn't matter if you lose, because you're, you're, yeah. you're part of the team. Like, the, the part of that board game that is the funnest is interacting with other people that are playing the board game. And you bring someone down with you in Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, it's never just you that loses. Yeah, it's your Dominant team Species that loses. Is just you. Yeah, I I chose A Battlestar, but I it, it, the reason I like the question is because with Battlestar you invest so much more. It's true. Like, and you can, 
I guess, like, the big screw-ups in Battlestar are almost like a role-playing game screw-up, so it's almost like you as a character didn't do something, and it doesn't quite work out, especially me, because I always play, like, President or something, and I, I love having those power rolls, and losing that really sucks. But yeah, losing a dominant species, because it's just this train wreck of you never know why you're losing, kind of or what's going on, and even when you're losing, you're like, okay, I've, I, I made that mistake, I get why that happened, so I'm going to not do that. And then you, like, even with that, there's like, oh, there's other things I didn't consider. So it's just constantly beating you in the face <laughs> for no reason. But that being said, Dominant Species is an amazing game. It is a lot of fun, despite uh, horrible. But yeah, it. it's, but yeah, I think, though I'm thinking you put more into it with Battlestar, with character-wise, you invest so much more, like, emotionally and stressfully into uh, B. So yeah, I would much rather play Battlestar over, over and over. Okay, so I think that does it. We've all finished a round of Would You Rather. Uh, let's tally the points. I'm, who was counting? Did any of us remember to count? Well, we counted oh, our own points, right? And you were sure. supposed to count for us, right, Yuri? I guess. All I know is Glenn got one wrong. I'm no, pretty... I didn't. I'm, I know well, I got, got one I get wrong. wrong. You just you got you got everything wrong. No, I didn't. Sure well, you got think of the ones you got right. Like let's like maybe let's have a retrospective. Okay. What were the like what were the questions? <laughs> I I we honestly no I can't I, tell you. Yeah. For you, mm -hmm. I got that you would rather be a host. Oh yeah, that's Aaron. Yeah, yeah I screwed right. up because yeah. I said you'd rather be. A... So Aaron's just a loser. Yeah, everyone, I think else, everyone else ties for the win. Woo! I don't know any yeah. of my co oh, oh. original job. host. Good job, Founders Club. That's true. I I was at a disadvantage because I was one episode behind yeah. all of you guys. Technically, so... like five. Oh, I suppose yeah, yeah. I was episode behind, so you really can't follow me for this. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. I, I do think we'll be playing Would You Rather again very soon, and I hope you join us again. Thanks for watching.